Hello, my name is Marcel Boutenland. I'm Director of Product Management at Vico Software. In the previous videos, I talked about calculating the cost price of your project using assemblies and components in Cost Planner. I didn't discuss the uh, use of margins yet. Cost Planner does have functionality to include this to your components as well. In this video, I will explain how you can use cost types and markup percentages uh, to add the margin to your cost components. The markup will be rolled up to the assembly level and then to the project level in a similar way that components do with assemblies. The assemblies were discussed in previous two videos and we assume you understand the basics of components and assemblies before you start this session. The topics that will be covered in this session are the use of the margins layout preset, defining and using cost types, and specifying a markup percentage to include markup in your estimate. As explained in the first three cost planner sessions, the cost price for components is calculated by multiplying its quantity by the defined unit cost. Markup is now calculated by multiplying the total price by the defined markup percentage. The sum of price and markup is the component's bid price. In the Cost Planner view, activate the Margins layout preset. This preset lets you view and edit markup and add-on properties of your components. Add-ons will be covered in the next session. To speed up the assignment of margins, we will use cost types. Cost types are a special type of tags. Tags will be covered in the next level of the Cost Planner instruction videos. Open the Markup Values dialog from the ribbon. Add the cost types that you want to work with by clicking the plus button. For each defined cost type, you can now define a default markup percentage. When you're done, click Save to save your changes. By specifying a cost type for a component, we can now assign the default markup percentage. Changing the markup percentage in the markup values dialog will automatically update the default percentage for all components with the updated cost type. As explained earlier, markup is now calculated by multiplying the total price by the defined markup percentage. Markup added to the total price results in the bid price for the component. Markup is automatically rolled up to the component's parent assembly and from there to the project level. Instead of changing the default markup percentage, the markup for a component can also be changed for an individual component. Enter a custom percentage in the markup cell of a component to do this. Note that changing the default percentage now does not have any effect on this component anymore. During this session, we used the Margins layout preset to see markup and add-on information of components. Then we defined and used cost types, and we added markup to components using the markup percentages.